A riveting new novel is about to hit shelves, and it was written by a native of the Summit City. Very cool. The story is dark, unsettling portrait of a complex and flawed cast of characters, and it centers around the disappearance of a young girl. Joining us in studio this morning, we have the author of the tale herself, Deborah Kennedy. Good morning. Good morning. Good, Good to morning. have you. This is so great. We were just talking about, you know, born and raised here, mm -hmm. and now you're just having the success of your fir first book. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. What's it about? Okay, so um, it basically tells the story of a summer in a fictional Indiana town when a little girl named Daisy Gonzalez goes missing. Okay. And the book is called, we'll hold up the cover here so everybody can see, but it's That's called pretty. Tornado Weather. Yes. So how did you come up with this title? Because it has nothing to do with tornadoes, right? <laughs> yes. Um, I know you were excited. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so uh, basically the idea, you know, tornado weather is, it's ominous, you know, something mm -hmm. could happen, we're not sure, there could be a warning. Um, the idea is also that something could happen in the town that's rather ominous, of course that's the missing girl. Um, and so just kind of also tying in the Indiana weather um, and just kind of this overall um, atmosphere of possible gloom and doom yeah. a little bit. Where do you find your inspiration? We were talking about the journals that we like to keep, right. both of us. Right. Where do you well, find your inspiration for um, this That's stuff? a great question. I, I think it's mostly in the people that I meet. Um, I've, I've worked as a journalist before, and okay. in general, I kind, of, I kind of collect odd characters as I interview yeah. people and write stories for newspapers. Mm -hmm. I freelance often. So that's one way. And also just settings, you know, just various places that I go will sometimes spark an idea. It's kind of yeah. hard to explain, but... Sure. Um, once they come up, I should write them down immediately, or I'll forget them. Yeah. Do you ha are you like a typical author that just has notes everywhere oh, yes. in oh, your yeah. purse and all yeah. that? Yeah. Everybody or my hand. surely does have a story. That's that's for sure. Yes. Yeah. Talk a little bit more about that process. So, do you usually write at home or in a coffee shop, or how long did this book take you to write? Um, it took a long time. I'm embarrassed to say how long oh. it took. I've been working on it since 2009. Okay. Um, and actually, I write at home. I write at home in my bed. That's yeah. my favorite place okay. if I can. Cool. I mean, it's not always perfect but that's mm -hmm. how I try to do it so I mean how hard was it to get to this point I mean what does it take to get a book published a lot yeah um, if you know aspiring writers out there if they're getting discouraged or anything I would just tell them to keep on keeping on because oh, I've wonderful. been like I said been working on this for years and it takes a long time to find mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. who believes in your writing who knows what you're trying to do and it, it it took a long time for me but it's finally happened and I'm so grateful absolutely what a nice piece of advice and you can have the chance to meet her and learn more about her book and this wonderful advice as well. You have an event coming up. I do. I'm doing a book signing at the Jefferson Point Barnes & Noble today at 2 p.m. Okay. So great. Very I feel like cool. that's kind of a dream for novelists. It is. That's great. And besides <laughs> actually getting a physical copy, is this also available on like Amazon for Ooh. Kindles or e-readers? Yeah. Absolutely. On all of those things. Okay. Oh, great. great.